Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This question we have, June 23, 41 variant. And what a question, actually P4, the mechanics especially, total depend upon the reading. Reading, okay, okay, so let's start. Velocity of the particle of leaving from O, the diagram shows the velocity time graph, which models the motion of particle. Graph consists of five straight line. How's to one, two, three, four, five. All right. The particle accelerate 0.9. You can see 0.9 is acceleration in three seconds. So look at this three second acceleration. You can see clearly. Then travels the constant speed for four seconds, six seconds only. So this straight line is called what? Constant uh, speed. Okay. Then it take uh, it rest. Okay. After one second later. So this is the one second later. This is called 10 to 9. It's called one second. Okay. Then it become rest. So this point is called what? Rest. Okay. Very, very clear. All right. So let's talk about the next. He says, particle then move back and return to the observer. You know, very interesting part I discussed in the previous lectures when this is, a, for example, a, a cardboard and you want to cut with a machine. So you're cutting from here, move forward. When machine will cut the in two parts and then machine will go first forward and then machine will go backwards. And you come, common sense, how much machine will move, move forward, same machine will come backwards. So I can say the distance travel going forward, distance travel and backward same. So in this sense, I can say here, even he mentioned that, return back to the O. So it means area of the trapezium and area of the triangle are equals to each other. So don't forget this concept. So let's start now. Distance traveled by the particle in the first 10 seconds. So it means I'm looking for the trapezium. So look, students, so uh, um, area of the trapezium formula half into H into A plus B. So what is the H? First of all, this length, this length and this length are parallel to each other. One is called A and one is called B. So 9 minus 3 got a 6, so A is 6. And 10 minus 0 is a 10, so B becomes 10. And the gap between them is actually is called a height. So height is 0.9. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe nothing hard. So 6 plus 10. So 6 plus 10, and if you type in calculator, one minute please, I am typing parallel to it. So half into 0 0.9 times 216, and my answer is coming 7.2 meters. So it means the distance traveled forward by the trapezium, again, which is, is a 7.2. Now he says what the further part, next one, he said when, when time is 12, uh, which 12? This time, this time we talk about 12, okay? And find the minimum velocity of the particle. So I have to find out this velocity. Because this is the first is speed, this velocity, or this is what. So this speed is my concern. Hold on, I show you. This speed actually, as I can show you, look at here, this speed is how much 0.9. So this 0.9 here. So this speed, I want to know what is this speed. So this is my concern. So it means this uh, length is equal to V. So I'm writing here V and this gap is 2. How I know? Because he said time is 12. And if I take a 12, out of 12, 10, gone, 2. So this triangle, I'm going to make it here. Have a look. Like this. This is a, 12, a 2 gap, sorry. And this is V. And, uh, and it's very clear. What is the formula of triangle? Half into base into height. Area is 7.2. You can ask why, sir. I said before, because area of the trapezium, area of the triangle are equals to each other. And I believe it's clear. So half into base. Base is a 2. And this speed is V. This cancel out. So V equal to 7.2. You know, a very interesting part. He said velocity. And I will must write negative 7.2. You ask, sir, why you are putting negative sign by 2, sir? Why not positive? Logic is very clear. Because it is it is a below x axis. So look at here. This this origin uh, above x axis velocity positive and below x axis velocity negative. And that is the logic behind it. When I get my answer seven point two, so this answer coming seven point two, but is below. So I must write here negative seven point two meter per second. I believe this part is very very clear. And let's go for let's go for next part. And next part we have is asking. Given instead the greatest speed of velocity is 3. Okay. It means he said this is, let's say this is not 7.2. So this speed is 3, he said. Now I will make this triangle once again. This triangle I will make once again. Once again. Okay. 
All right. And he said the speed is now is three. So I have, I am bound. I should take it. Okay. And time is T. Uh, and this is okay. Assume this time is T. Okay. But he asking capital T. Where's capital T? Look at his students. This is a capital T. Okay. I Here I know two. But here I know two. But here the part number next, I don't know. So I assume as a small t. And this capital T is my question mark. Common sense. If I get the small t, I will add in 10. I will get my answer. Okay. So let's start. So half into base into height. And as you know, area is equal to half into base into height. And as you know, this area again, 7.2. 7.2 equal to half into base is an unknown. And height is 3. So this 2 multiplies there. So 7.2 into 2. 3 will divide under it. And I'm getting the answer. Let me check my calculator. So answer is coming 7.2 into 2 divided by 3. And my answer is coming 4.8. It means this is a 4.8 second. So hold on. So this is a 4.8. So 10 plus 4.8 will give us capital T. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So I can write like this. So 10.4.8. I got 14.8. So this is done. And now what is the last part? He's asking us, find out the uh, average speed of the whole journey. Whole journey, what is the formula for whole journey? Average speed formula is a very clear. So average speed formula, we have what? Total distance by total time. Okay. So total time. So total distance, how much student? Look at now here. This, you know, 7.2. This is the traveling distance. How much? 7.2 forward, 7.2 backwards. So 7.2 plus 7.2 is come. Uh, 7.2 plus 7.2. Okay. Uh, it's become okay, now, now time. How much time it takes? Because we are doing this uh, kind of thing. Okay. So total time is 14.4. 14.8, sorry. So if you check it, the what is the answer is coming. So 7.2 plus 7.2, it is coming 14.4, and 14.4 divided by 14.8, so average speed is becoming 0 0.972 meter per second. And I believe the point is very clear, and this question is completely over. Yes, student, there's a one correction. This is 9.7 is a three, okay? And after three, we have a nine. So this is a two nine, sorry, two nine. So if you now round it, nine seven three is our right answer because it was a uh, like non-terminating number. So that is why I hope so now point is very, very clear and question is completely over.